So that's how far out the wall is. Okay. There you go. So it comes through the wall up. Well, he finds a way. And good Tuesday morning. Now. And good Tuesday morning. Today is going to be a garden wall. And not just any garden wall. A, uh, a big ass reclaimed engineering garden wall. So that's going to be uh, something. Okay. So yeah. obviously with big reclaimed brick as it comes, you don't get very big beds. So yeah. picked up the pier caps the other day okay. because um, the customer wants different size pillars. Um, which, uh, what size pillars go and where? So there's going to be a one brick pillar in the middle, so that one, and then a brick and a half pillar on the end. And we're going to be, I think we're going to tidy this bit up a little bit as well. It's been brought down to uh, to ground for us, but it's a bit ropey around here, and as you can see, it's like a loose, loose few bricks. So we're going to try and get them fixed up a little bit, we'll see. And then just get that tidied up a little bit, and then just run it in to that height, six courses. And then we'll find out how big these pills are going to be. Might be less than six because there's a brick and edge to go on top. Oh, is there? Yeah. Do we have enough brick for that? Well, we're going to build until we run out of bricks. So we'll make the wall fit the bricks we've got. Okie dokie. So that's our battle plan. We're just going to uh, get ourselves loaded out now and we'll uh, catch in a bit. Right, we originally had a little corn left up here, which is knackered. And when uh, under close inspection, we found this. Growing through it. Now we're not touching the pillar, we might just patch these little bits in, but yeah, that, that looks to me like it's off that conifer. It's grown through the pillar. Yeah. So stick it down, show it. Not where it comes through. There you go. So it comes through the wall up. Well, he finds a way. Yeah, so that corner's come down now. It wasn't going to come down, but it has. So I'll get that sorted out. I'll put the ties where it's didn't take an easy thing. Because this only. Look at that. Need straightening up as best we can. But the uh, right, I'll do. So, like I say, the corner was there, we've got rid of that, there's that frigging root that's come through. Um, we're not actually down to do anything to this pillar, we're just to build the wall. But this is in such a state, is that loose, we've took it out and I'm going to rebuild it. I can't get it plumb, I've just got to follow what's there, range it from there to there. As you can see, 
these are pushing out, can't do anything about them because it's on the neighbour's side. This whole wall needs redoing. Just show out how plumber is that. Just put the lever in plumb. So that's how far out the wall is. A good 20 mil. The pillar's out a little bit and I'm afraid it's going to land up, fall on my head. So I need to get this built up quick. And like I say, this thing goes right through the middle of it. So this is like, we'll get this side done. And this is like down the line when the neighbour decides to get theirs done. Yeah. When they get their wall done, this pillar's going to have to be rebuilt in the middle. But we're just going to butt up to this and put ties in. We're not going to tie into it. Like Alex said, we could put slip ties in, but we haven't got any slip ties. Got everything else with us. Yeah. We could have built the slip ties in. Yeah. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, get this rebuilt, build a little corner. I think we're going to five courses in Brick and Edge. And then um, once this corner's up, have a quick brew and I can get Alex. Alan. Who's Alan? Alan! Alan! <laughs> Alex can get the lines pulled through from that pillar. I forgot about the pillar was it being here, so I've got the pillar and the corner to pull through off. So that's enough talking, let's get this thing built. Right, but so just before we continue, a little quick update. Bottom course is in, so we're set out and we're ready to roll. Uh, we've made it work so the brick pillar is going to be dead in the middle, so it'll be even each side, and we just made it work brick to the brick and a half pillar. That's all set up. We've got our profile up and we're going to gauge that accordingly now. So. Here we go, that's the uh, pillar secured a bit and the wall set out. Shame there's no bed under it. 
Yeah. That's the thing with these books though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I think all that's left now is a course of brick on edge on top of there, and then that's the finished height. So once we've got that set up, we'll have a uh, quick break and then we'll get this uh, started. Um, we moved the pillar back half a brick. I just said that, yeah, we made it work. Oh, to make the... To make it even, yeah. Right, to make it sure. Yeah, so now we can start get cracking. And then when we come to these, we're going to be using the uh, Fitz Bricks 2.0. So that'll make things a lot easier getting them in, so... Yep, we'll get you set back up and uh, put some progress in this wall, shall we?
get the bed right, I'll go down quite easy because of the frogs. That's good. Ropey brick there, obviously come out of a pillar, so it's going back in the pillar. So that bit goes inside the pillar, that bit sticks out. Got all, all line we're working to, and then we've got two plumbing points in the end there. That's it then. The only plumb, that's plumb anyway. We only plumb these two plumbing points. We measure from the line back 330, line back 330, plumbing point back 330, plumbing point back 330. So we only actually that pillar. We only have two plumbing points, and then we measure everything else. It just saves a lot of time, and it's accurate. There's Alex down there, just getting all that corner jointed up for us. The pillar's knackered, so what we're going to do with the pillar is push it back a bit and pack it and then point it. Because it's... Just looking at that, it's not even been bedded on. No. Coping. No. And look at the tree. Look at the tree next to the wall. It's a bit ridiculous that. And that thing is just... Because of the old lime water, the tree just helps itself and goes straight through it. Let's get the camera back. So, so that's, how, that's how we do the pillars. Same as same with any pillar. Always uh, two plumbing points and then we measure everything. Sorry, we bored. There you go. So I'm gonna run a little bit more in and then we're gonna go back to time lapse. Try and put a bit more live action in. A bit less time lapse. Just means you can't listen to the radio as much. Go down nice and 
podcast. That's what we like. Still uh, very, very tight. Oh, wall's very, very tight. Yeah, I'll get us some more brick now. Yeah. We made stuff so you just these good ones in the wall. Yeah, just use everything. Because like some of them are getting good now, so I don't want to touch. Keep the light. Just stack them now, and if we find a good one as we go, we'll just remove them. I think lots of them are good ones now, so like, I'm scared of using the good ones up here and then we end up getting to the brick on edge. Yeah. I think the whole thing is an acid brick wash. Yeah. And it's done.
And there we have it, the wall is finished. Bit of a slow start, but we managed to get some momentum back in the end. It's gone five o'clock, but considering how the morning went, I'm glad it's not six. But. Don't forget, we built it too high, and that's not, well, I put the corner too high, high course, and when we worked bricks out, we, ran out, we would have run out of bricks at five course and the brick and edge, so. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad now that the brick and edge are on. And the, the pillars are just over two foot to get two foot fence panels between. Yeah, and as you can see, look, like, nice and symmetrical. So, and obviously, all the uh, the gap in the flag has been pointed up. I don't think it looks too bad, in all honesty. Dad got the uh, pier caps on while I was uh, jointing up, which was a uh, really task and a half. I always forget that you got both sides, but there you have it. Have look on this side. But yeah, so that has been another successful garden wall that I've actually got to be a part of this time since I was away for most of them. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this or you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on the bell for notifications. That way you'll always know when we upload. It's always a massive help for the channel and we greatly appreciate all the support that we get. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with a faffy garden wall and we'll see you in the next one.